Hey everyone, my name is Ru and we're here and this is going to be week number one of the PBA and this is going to be a really really fun week so I have a ton of mons that I'll be using for the first time and a ton of mons that were really kind of just fun to build with in the team building process and we're just going to get right into it. This has been a really kind of fun and interesting experience just trying to build with these mons but we will see the Terrakion, Jirachi, Tornadus, Rhyperior, Excelgore, and the Weezing. So right off the bat that means no Hydreigon. No Hydreigon is very very interesting no decidueye oh no decidueye is really huge no x blab no no cook no colossal no manectric those are kind of expected um so a lot of the mods that i would have expected I, I honestly would have expected the decidueye to come i would have probably not expected the excel core to come but i think my kind of dedicated lead no matter what happens was always going to be the coco i think the coco gets me a lot being able to use her in turn one and in particular, if the Terrakion leads, I think Terrakion, um, Rhyperior could easily lead. I think if the Rhyperior leads, I kind of have to make a, a, a Rock's Call, and I, and I, maybe Graz not turn one. We can see what happens there, but, uh, yeah, I really don't see too, too much of a downside to, uh, going Coco turn one. Now, um... I guess the Rhyperior would be pretty scary because I really would want to Grass Knot every time. And it's, it's, this is, this is a physical Coco, but, uh, it's not, it's not an Adamant Coco. So it has an, it should have enough special attack to KO most of the time, but if it's a moderately bulky Rhyperior, then it will be pretty scary. Uh, leads off with Osborne, which is this thing. This should be a free u-turn which is big because again i i am banded and u-turn will wear down the team over time um i don't know what he kind of expected me to lead, want to lean off with i don't know regardless i think my play is always just to click u-turn here um he does have he, he does have a number of options he could go in, straight into the rapier if he does go into the rapier if he does go into the rapier then I believe oh sorry and I should turn this on as well but I believe I should be able to go into Mesprit and Mesprit energy ball should be enough to pick up a KO after some chip damage um if he goes into Terrakion which is unlikely to be fair but if he does go into Terrakion um Jirachi is also pretty likely Excel Gore is pretty likely yeah it does go into the Rhyperior okay so I think I just go into the Mesprit pretty easily here and that's a was that a crit? That's definitely a crit, yeah. But it, but this is also pretty no bulk here. This is very minimal bulk here, I think, because I don't know how I do that much damage. I have no idea how I do that much damage from a Coco. U turn with a crit. I guess that's about right for a crit. That's about right for a crit, but that also means that's pretty no bulk. Either that or very specially defensive. Which does mean that that crit could matter if this thing is specially defensive, but regardless, I think I kind of have to go for this here. I think I kind of just have to go for this here. Could switch out, but I think no matter what he wants to switch out with, yeah. This will let me get rocks reasonably early. It does go into this. Um, I think this should always kind of allow me to just rocks and you turn out. And then from here, it does go for the U-turn of its own. There's the Tango Berry, which is unfortunate because the Tango Berry was kind of meant for me to be able to take a hit from the Terrakion in particular and then be able to um, KO the Terrakion. So that's a bit unfortunate right off the bat, but getting rocks up here is pretty big for me regardless. And he should expect me to want to U-turn myself, so I think I think that's going to play a, a big role into kind of what he wants to switch into. Like, he wouldn't want to go into Tornadus, for example, because I could pretty easily bring out the the Coco. Even the Terrakion's kind of dubious a little bit. Um, I think it does limit his options a little bit. It does go straight into the Terrakion. So I could get Mega Horned on right away. I definitely could get Mega Horned on right away. However, huh? 
I'd probably just go for the Psychic regardless, right? I think I'd just go for the Psychic regardless. Goes for a Rock Polish. Yeah, this is exactly... Yeah, and any type of setup is exactly why I'd want to do this. Because, in, in particular, I do think Psychic plus... Uh, I, I made this thing offensive enough that Psychic plus... Um, it's a weakness policy as well. Psychic plus uh, Rocky Helmet, I think, is should take KO it. I didn't see exactly where it ended up. It's going to be close, actually, which is not great. Uh, is there any switch worth making? I could switch directly into this thing, although that might not be the most worth it. Uh, this thing could suck me on the spot, honestly. But uh, he could miss moves. He could miss moves. That could be the saving grace does land the Megahorn, um, which again is exactly why I had the Tango Barrier, but the Tango Barrier wouldn't have mattered because uh, I did give it the weakness policy. And now we will just try to counter with the Sand Slash. I, this is a max defense Sand Slash, but this Terrakion is incredibly scary. One sixth of HP is 16%. And this thing is, yeah, that sh it should actually KO. And it should be a free spike for me, actually. So, we're going to go for that as he clicks close combat. We do take it, and we do get a spike off. Uh, there will be a KO for Sand Slash, and again, we do get a spike up. Because of the Rocky Helmet, this is exactly... I, again, th these are the kind of, kinds of interactions that I kind of... Um, thought about explicitly in my head, so... Uh, in my head, I originally had a much more defensive Mesprit in mind, but then once I started to kind of run these calcs, I noticed that um, I needed a bunch of attack, a special attack investment to kind of put myself in a position where where uh, I'd be able to do what I need to do here. I kind of think this thing wants to set up spikes on me. I kind of want to rapid spin repeatedly until until this thing is forced to KO me. Yeah, it just goes for the bug buzz. That's totally, totally fine. That's totally fine. But now what do I do? I mean, I probably go into... Uh, I could go into... Let me see here. I don't know anything about this... Excel Gore. But, uh, one, one interaction that I didn't expect to see is... Excel Gore against this... Against this... Durant? Now, I should always be able to KO this thing. If I land a move. I'm just going to go for it. Or, or, or sorry, I, I should say, um, I, I should always be able to, to, to not be KO'd and KO back. But this thing wasn't throw spray, right? No, no, it wasn't throw spray. Okay. Um. So, yeah, hopefully we land a move. If you don't, it sucks. But, you know, we're just going to have to see. We're just going to have to see. Um, this Durant here was kind of a mod that I didn't know what to do with. I, I knew that I wanted kind of generic offense on my team, but I didn't really know. I should I should always take a Focus Blast. And this thing isn't specs or anything. I should always take this, and we should hopefully land. We land it, and that's a KO for Durant. Okay. So that immediately frees up my, my Coco a ton. That immediately frees up my Coco a ton. And what else? I still have the Jirachi. Uh, I've never really done this before. I'm going to try to X out Mons on my kind of screenshot here. Excel Gore. And I know, and I know the Rhyperior took like 30%. I'm going to try to write that down. Um, this thing comes in. And I think I just want to take some Stomping Tantrum damage. This thing could be Scarf, but even just revealing a Scarf would be relevant for me here. Does Stomping Tantrum even do more than X's here? I have no idea. Uh, Jirachi. It might not even be, be relevant if this thing is just straight up Scarf. Oh no, Stomping Tantrum does a decent amount more. So yeah, we do get to see that this thing is Scarfed. Which is interesting. Uh, I think it means that I can go into... I think it means that I can go into this thing 
And I can probably just flip turn here. I can probably just flip turn here. Because it would never want to just like stay in and risk Scald Burns here. And no matter what comes in, I think Coco comes in every time, right? Um, I could also just bring in... Okay. That's fine, I think. Uh, it is neutralizing gas, which is fun. It is neutralizing gas. So what does that mean? Actually, hang on. Oh, uh, what is this thing called? Wheezing. Uh. Can I KO it with... No. What about Coco? No. I think I have to... Huh. How do I play this? Uh... I think I have to... Ugh, we're, we're gonna do it. Uh, this thing is not as important as my other mon, so I'm gonna try to run with this. But this isn't great for me here. Brave Bird does the most damage. And it should put it in range of something that Coco wants to do. Or even before I, this is a pretty not ideal situation to be in. But even Scald, even Scald should be able to KO this after, is that a crit? No. Pain split, okay. Okay. That's not the worst thing in the world. I think this is fine as long as I can wear this thing down. I guess we'll see. Maybe expecting me to want a U-turn here? No, I don't think so. Does the drop probably going into the Jirachi? Yeah. Yeah. But I also don't think I have to predict. He could be... He could be scarfing himself into Thunder Punch, which I think is fine here. Uh, yeah, this is rough. This is rough. Scarf's in the Zen Headbutt. That's totally fair. That's totally fair. I can... Vaporeon could actually win this still. Vaporeon could be the game winner here. I could go into this thing and use turn. And then Vaporeon probably just doesn't get KO'd by Tornadoes. And we can 1v1 the Rhyperior as well. So we're so we'll see. He has no reason to switch out because of the because of the hazards. Tornadoes could honestly be boots, for all I know. But as long as we don't get completely hacked out here, I think we're okay. And even if we do get hacked out, I think... I think the Vaporeon could still pull this back. But it's it's not... It, it's not great. It doesn't look great, ever. Coco against Scarf Jirachi. Uh, Iron Hat should be a two-hit, which is not great. That's really not great. Uh, so we just have to break through. I mean, what can I say? Uh, okay, okay, we do break through. We do break through. And this is gonna stop the Rhyperior from coming in. And it, it also, it disencourages the Weezing to come in. The Tornadus has to come in, I think. The Tornadus has to come in. Uh, 
so let's see. Yeah, this is tough. This is going to be a tough end game. I honestly don't even think my commentary is that great. I've, I've, I'm honestly just thinking it so much. I'm kind of stressed, and this is like my first time, you know, kind of doing this in a really long time. I think that's hazard damage puts it in range of Scald. Does it not? I should flip turn. I should flip turn. Just to be safer. I should flip turn just to be safer. That way, he, he's, he's going to pain split this turn. I'm, I'm pretty positive of it. And we can pain split. I can... I can... Uh, hit this thing. We can see here. I have to click a wild charge, which is gonna suck for the Rhyperior. But, it, but I think it's gonna be worth it because I think I kind of deal with the Tornadus decently well. He goes out into the Rhyperior. Or no, goes out into this thing. Wow. That's very interesting. G gives this thing ups to, in order, uh, in, for the sake of the Rhyperior. Gives this up for the sake of the Rhyperior, which is interesting. Um, and he can KO me. That's fine, I think. Uh, the Rhyperior is going to be tough if it's if it's Solid Rock, especially, obviously. But yeah, after Hazards, I kind of feel like... Yeah, I can't do anything else. So if this thing is super ag aggressive setup, then that sucks, but especially after Hazards, I should always... If this thing is double dance, then I lose, I think. No, okay, 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 that's best case scenario, for sure, for sure. And and now I think I just beat the, the, the Weezing when it comes back in. I think I just beat the Weezing when it comes back in. So, yeah, this was played super awkwardly. Um, I don't 100% I I don't, I don't like the way that I had to play this, and I wish I could have played this cleaner, obviously. But, I think this should always be how I win this one. So I'll should KO here, and I think we should always just KO the... KO the Weezing after this. And if we don't, I don't, I, I don't think we ever get 1v1 by it, especially with Heal Bell and Wish and all that nonsense. I think I'm, I think I'm gonna wear down the Weezing eventually, right? But I think, I think a final Scald should pull this off. I think a final Scald should pull this off. And is that week one? That's gonna be week one, okay. Oh my god. That was really stressful. Thank you guys so much for watching. That was incredibly stressful. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough because I think if he made that call and went into the Rhyperior on my Coco's Wild Charge, it would have made things oh, so much more difficult for me than it needed to be. But at the same time, I think unless it was Double Dance, obviously Double Dance, I think, oh, just would have beaten me on the spot. But if as long as it wasn't Double Dance, I think he had a tough time always with my Vaporeon. And just having the Vaporeon the, the way that it was just kind of put me in a position to win in the end game. He had a lot of threats. Like, I had to play around the Terrakion perfectly, right? And the Rocky Helmet was a last-second decision that ultimately ended up coming through for me. But yeah, there was there was a lot of decisions that I that had to just end up going for me. But thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more weeks of the UPBA as well as more weeks of the UBL coming soon. UBL will be low tier and it will be a ton, a ton of fun. Um, but overall, I'm just having a ton of fun with these mons, and I'm really excited for whatever our new season's going to look like. Hopefully, we can string some wins together and um, make something happen here. With that, once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll be once again out.